Well, it's a beautiful day for a drive, so I thought I'd take TW up into the hills. And uh, right behind our little town, there's a pair of hills. One of them on the right here is called Dynamite Hill. They uh, dynamited that one to get the rock to build the uh, reservoir that's about a mile away from town. And the one on the left is called Sea Hill. The seniors are tasked uh, once a year for to go up there and just make sure it's in good order, slap a new coat of paint on it. I think there's a lot of little towns that have hills around them that will put the letter, the first letter of the name of the town on the side of the hill so the airplanes or whatever can see it. And just kind of a pride thing. So anyway, I'm going to take the little TW200 uh, and see if I can make it up to the top. There's a bunch of antennas up there that have Rocky Mountain uh, public broadcasting and I think some other maybe AT&T or something up at the top, but uh, man, at the very beginning, it is steep and it is rocky. You might be able to see from some of the terrain that I'm going through here. Uh, and everything seems like it starts out going pretty good, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't end up that way. I hit uh, kind of a little flat spot here, or dirt spot, and the rocks kind of ease up just a little bit. But, uh, after I turn the corner up here and really start working my way up the gulch, uh, things go a little bit south on me. You'll see what I mean. myself tracking towards the edge there and so I put on the brakes and stopped which was a mistake because I put my feet down to steady the bike I lost my back brake because of that I only had a front brake and then I was at such a steep angle that I started sliding backwards and uh, that was all she wrote oh. <laughs> well okay maybe I should have put my hand guards on at this point See if I can pick this bad dude up. Oh, yeah. Whew. Now this point, uh, this part here is uh, it's not just super steep, but it's uh, certainly not level by any stretch of the imagination. It really starts uh, getting steeper and the uh, road is really washed from uh, whatever rain and snow melts come down it and it's made little gulches right in the center of the road uh, sometimes on the right sometimes on the left sometimes right in the center but uh, it's really starting to get steeper and rockier and I don't know the rocks are getting bigger I'm having to really start picking my line in some of these areas I can catch a little bit of area where there's dirt and stuff but man it starts getting really bumpy and rocky and I'm really trying to pick my line and uh So that's my first crash on the little TW two hundred. I uh I see now why people put those uh, little uh, hand guards on them. Fortunately, I didn't smash my mirror up or anything like that, and I was able to pick the bike up and get back on the trail. I'll, uh, I'll quit talking here and uh, let you just kind of enjoy some of the scenery going up. I'm going to just cut out the parts where it, you know, turns a little bit more like dirt. and uh, Not a whole lot of flat spots in this area, but... At least the whole thing is not just totally treacherous, but it's uh, 
it's definitely a climb for that little TW, let me tell you. starting to get close to the top now <laughs> not much above me but sky it uh, just right around the corner here I don't know you can't really see over the cliff but it's pretty darn steep over there so I'm trying to hug the inside finally I can see the telephone poles where they ran the power up to the top of the mountain how they got them up there I don't know it must have been a heck of a job but uh, from up here man the view is really pretty nice let me get this bike parked and uh, I'll get off and I'll, uh, I'll take a little bit of video from up here and you can kind of see what it looks like. But I am, I'm up there with the antennas now. Woo wee. That was quite the little run. But we got, got a nice view from up here.